have body issues or what were some of your body issues? I had body issues because I was told that my body was an issue. You know, I didn't really think about it until it was presented to me. You know, it's kind of like if somebody says, oh, your hair is short, but you've never thought about it. Right. You're like, oh, really? You're, like, you're short? short? Yeah, yeah. It, right. So it was kind of like that. Oh, you're too, you know, you have to lose weight. And can you remember when that happened first? Or when that when you started to go like oh I'm not something's wrong. When I was told that I needed to lose weight and. You know, and was that in high side. school? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's when all of a sudden you're broken. And it wasn't by everybody, you know. It's like right, you know, but it know? doesn't matter. But it, it always you always go person. to the negative. Yeah, right. you always go to person. the negative. That's all one person has, and then you're like, oh, you know. And then I started looking at my body compared to other people's uh, uh, body okay, in right. my class. Because at first I just did, you know, we were just there. And it's also the people that get the attention. You mm-hmm. start to look at and you go like, oh, either you look like them or you don't look like them. Right. And depending on what those other things are saying, yeah. you could go like, oh, God, that's why yeah. I'm not getting attention because yeah. I don't look like that person. Yeah. When did you, well, how are you feeling now? <laughs> well, I'm fine now. You know, I'm <laughs> fine now. You know. And what, what, what made you go like, hmm, I'm okay? Or at least, you know, as much as possible, because you always have something. I think Was that I, in college? Or yeah. did it happen? Okay. It was when I got, when I started doing my own choreography. Because I got into, you know, you have your required things in college, or you have to take your composition classes and all this stuff. So, I think I told you this, I was about 15, 20 pounds heavier than I am now. <gasps> no! <laughs> I can't even imagine it! <laughs> yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. So, um... You have to show you my passport. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so you're 15. You're 20 pounds heavier than you are now. Yeah, and, and it was more like max. You know. Oh, you were bulky because yeah. you were working. Well, I think it was. You know, my dad has that mass too. Is, right. Okay. So. So you were just that's those that that, that your, was your body, genetic yeah. your disposition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so and, you start doing your own choreography. Well, we I wasn't sorry. Uh, I, w- I really didn't get into a lot of stuff when I first got into college, and you know sometimes it was the costume or you know it was right. really like that or I just wasn't for the part. Right. Um, so of course, like any human being, I would cry, um, and sometimes you know sometimes they have the cat the list of the people that they want to audition. I didn't even make that list. You're like, damn. Oh, like, damn. I don't even have a chance. <laughs> you know. And so you got to be in it to win it. I can't yeah, I'm win not it. Even in it. <laughs> So, you know, I, and, you know, like any anybody, I cried, but I said to myself, okay, don't cry the whole time you're here, you know, like, still work, you know, right. it might not be on the stage, you might not be in rehearsals with everybody else, but still be moving to right. something. So, at the time, all I had were my choreography compositions that we would have for class so I would take those while you know while everybody was rehearsing for you know whatever the big spring winter dance was I would be in the studio working on these things and they would only need to be like 20 second things but these things were my life Mm. that's all I had and um maybe my junior year I my body changed and you know I got longer and you know I got a little smaller whatever and I started getting into pieces, right? And I was excited, but it didn't affect me in the way that it probably would have a couple years ago because now I had found something else. Yeah, so I would put myself. You were, they had you know the big performances, and then they had the smaller ones in between. And the smaller ones, you could submit something that you wanted to perform. So I would submit like my choreography, like right. if I made a solo, I would submit that. So you know I was okay. Interesting. And so now. You know, I am a certain size. Like, I like being a certain size, not because I'm trying to fit into a mold. It's just I feel good right. when I'm that size. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's just what it is. It's so funny. I remember, I think the first time that I can remember seeing you. I mean, I'm sure, you know, the dance world's small. I probably saw oh, you, but it was a just so hard. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> oh. uh, it was a Joyce Soho. And I, I, I don't remember the name of the solo, but you I think you started with your back. I just remember your back. What was well, it? Was you it was you? No, it was you. It, it had okay. to be you. <laughs> that wasn't me, Teresa. No. <laughs> oh, well, she was Shame. gorgeous. Right. <laughs> Where is she now? Hold no. On. I remember. And it was I was like, oh, my God, her 
back is so incredibly fluid and expressive. And then, then as you started to move, I was like, well, snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> because for me, you, you are all, all of the things. Like the quality of your movement, no matter what um, genre, I guess, mm -hmm. you're moving in. Mm -hmm. Whether it's you're grounded if it's an African sort of thing, you're released if it has a release, you can pull up and releve a balance and hit it. Like it's all, it's there. And I think that that's what, when people go like, oh my gosh, you're so clean. You, you really are. Oh, thanks. You know, so, but I can, I can understand, now I understand mm -hmm. how you became that mm -hmm. person. And it's so interesting because I, I like going back to NCSA. Um, some of my friends are still there uh, after school, so I like going. Oh God! Did he graduate? Oh no! Like you know, they have kids, and you know, they've done like they just stayed in North Carolina. Right. So I like going back, and I like going back to school. And this past time, I was there in December, and I took class with each of my teachers, Aww. and I just got really emotional because I had always appreciated their um, teaching, but it wasn't until I got back into their class. It's like, wow, I was so blessed to have these teachers. Yeah, because like, on the other side, yeah. you're like, oh, wow. You know, yeah. like they really, and each one had something very specific. Like mm -hmm. uh, Brenda, what, Brenda Daniel, she was a Cunningham. So, you know, it was very clear and, and um, you know, precise, and you got to really, like, feel your body and warm yourself up from the inside out. And Diane Markham, you know, she was, like, space, like, catching space and doing all these things. And they're probably still saying the same exact thing. Oh, yeah, so I it was amazing. It's all the same, yeah. but, you, but when you hear it, you're like, yeah. yeah. I was reliving it, but then I was processing it as, a, as, as an a, adult and yeah. as, a, as a, yes. Yeah, as a mature sure. dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm looking at the kids probably in the class like, oh, get it. Y'all yeah, get understand. it. Like, you don't get it. You know, right. like, I've been here for like months just training. Right. You know, and Sean Solo, he was like, moan. So everything was weight and, and breath. And I didn't really, I don't remember um, being taught how to breathe necessarily before that. Because everything was right, like, right, right. you know, just do it. And he, and I was resistant to that, you know. <laughs> He wanted us to breathe and move in space, and then at first I was like, ah, oh. you know. But then as I started maturing, it's like, oh no, you have to, you have to use that. Like the breath is the part of that's how you get to the next step. And you know what's so funny? In your work, the breath is so integral. It's almost like a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. You know, think of like the solo that you do in Tolerance, the solo oh, the yeah. Secure Feminine. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, and I feel like if I don't breathe, I won't be able to get through it. But but it's the soundtrack. Yeah. It's like even though there's music, we hear you, and it creates a certain uh, feeling, a yeah. sensory feeling for the person watching. Yeah. So that's you know what I mean. It's all it's all in there. Yeah. Um, I gotta give a shout out to one more one more, one more person. Shout yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Trish uh, Trish Casey, who was uh, she was our technique teacher too, but she was actually my first composition teacher, mm -hmm. and I still have I still talk to her now. Pick up the phone, just ask her questions. Um, I still have the composition book, and wow. I just think that they're my teachers were amazing. That know? was a magical, transformative. Yeah, period. it was it was hard because I was resistant. You know, maybe the first year, maybe the first two years. I don't know. I was just really resistant at what they were trying to show because it was so different. I had never had those right. things happen, you know, that approach. And then once I got there and got it, I was like, oh, wow, this is really great. Like, and my body is receiving it. It's right. not like it's resistant. And that other way was working. Yeah. It's what you needed. Yeah. I think it's so important because I, I always talk about finding your fit. Yeah. And, like, that's knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, and, you know, knowing who is going to be accepting of yeah. you. Like, if you're not, like, an ideal body type, yeah. like, where can I go that somebody's going to see me? Yeah. And sometimes your your fit isn't actually your first choice, mm -hmm. nor is it comfortable at or first. Or it's the choice that might be presented. Might You might have to find it, you know? Right, because right. It you might not to... be on the platter that you're giving. Exactly. That's why, like, investigate, like, no. Just That's right. Do, do your research. Yeah. Because 
like for kids finding colleges, mm -hmm. you just don't know. A lot of times they're like going to look for colleges because their friend says yeah, that they had a good yeah, point. Yeah, it's on the list. It's you ask them, who teaches there? They're like, I don't know. But the thing is, the school does not make you. You make the school. You make it. You make the experience what it is because you can go to Juilliard and you think, you know, oh, I'm going to get this fabulous. And then you come out like... It's the school. It, you, it you really is. Put what it is. Okay, everybody, there are people who have bad experiences at schools and good experiences at school. At, yeah, at, at, every, at school. every school. Right. You know, every right. school. And I tell people, you know, who are interested in NTSA, okay, yes, that's where I went. And I understand, you know, I guess because you admire me or you want to go there because I went, I understand that. But you have to know that that was the school for me at that time in my life. And that might not be the school for you. You know, your school might be down in West Bubba that nobody knows with the right. population of the country. It may work. It may for be you. amazing. 